Welcome back to Rob's Home Bar. New Year's Eve is just around the corner. It's time to say goodbye to 2022. So, just as we do every year on the channel, we're going to finish off the year with some awesome champagne cocktails. Let's kick things off with the Jane Mansfield. We got some rum and some strawberries. So we're gonna start this guy with two or two to four muddled strawberry. Get the freshest ones you can. I know they're not really in season right now, but if you can get some fresh strawberries, do it. Um, we're also gonna do a quarter ounce of simple syrup just to sweeten things up a tad. Grab your muddler and give everything a really good muddling till you've got all the, the strawberries nice and pulverized and you got some lovely sweet strawberry juice. To that, we are going to add one ounce of a white rum. I'm using Havana Club three-year-old. All right, after that, we've got strawberry liqueur. I uh, click that link if you wanna see how I make berry liqueurs from scratch. And this one here is nice and sweet and very flavorful. So one full ounce of our strawberry liqueur. That's it for our ingredients. We're gonna give that some ice. We're gonna give it a nice quick shake. There we go. All right, we're gonna be serving this, of course, in a champagne flute. All four drinks tonight in a champagne flute. And we're gonna double strain this one because of course we don't want that strawberry pulp getting into our cocktail. All right, make sure to get every last drop and then it's time to pop the champagne cork. So. I love getting these small bottles of champagne. They're slightly cheaper and you don't have to waste a whole bottle if you just want to make a couple cocktails. All right, so uh, as little or as, lot of, as much as you want, uh, you just still want to taste those strawberry flavors. So I wouldn't fill the whole glass with champagne, but you know, four or five ounces is probably something. Um, about there. These are big glasses too. These flutes are huge. But there it is, the Jane Mansfield. Let's move on to our next cocktail, which is the Pina Colada Mimosa. So we've got some pineapple rum. We've got coconut rum. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. You just know it. All right, so plantation pineapple. Uh, we're gonna do three quarter ounce of this one here. Perfect. After that, we want a coconut rum. Uh, this is a shipwreck coconut rum. It is in fact a coconut rum, not a liqueur since the ABV is high enough. It is still very sweet, um, but feel free to use a Malibu here if uh, if you can't get a, you know, a fancier coconut rum, it'll still be great. Three quarter ounce of pineapple juice, fresh pineapple juice. And finally, I'm gonna do one dash of tiki bitters. You can leave these out if you don't have them. I just love what uh, those tiki bitters bring to a, um, a pina colada. Quick shake once again. Let's go grab the champagne flute. And we don't need to double strain this time. We're just gonna do a straight uh, regular strain into the flute. All right. Let's grab our champagne and top this bad boy off. I can just tell that one's gonna be fantastic. What's not to like? It's a pina colada plus champagne. Perfect. Okay, to garnish this one, we've got a nice little chunk of pineapple, of course. Looking great. All right, just look at that. That is a sexy cocktail. If you wanna check out more uh, pina colada variations, make sure you check out that video. I made three of them earlier this year. All right, moving on. This one is the Champagne Margarita. Pretty self-explanatory. It's basically a margarita with champagne. All right, so we're gonna start with a Reposado Tequila, because we wanted a quality here. Ounce and a half of our Reposado. After that, we're going to do half an ounce of an orange liqueur. I'm using a uh, dry Curacao, but you know, you can use any orange liqueur you got, Grand Marnier, use Cointreau, triple sec, doesn't matter. And finally, half an ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed, of course. There's our lime juice. Okay, we're going to give it some ice, give it a nice quick shake again. All right. Bringing back the flute and let's give it a strain. And once again with the champagne. I was worried I wouldn't get uh, four cocktails out of this little bottle, but uh, 
I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> this one is getting a lime wedge garnish right over the rim. There it is. The champagne margarita. Looks delicious, of course. All right, let's move on to our final drink tonight. This is the vanilla peach Bellini. So classic Bellini with a little twist. We're gonna build this one directly in the glass and so no shaking on this one. I got peach puree. Uh, check out my video from two years ago making Bellinis. I'll show you how I make the peach puree. It's a sweetened kind of frozen peach puree. Super easy to make using frozen peaches. Uh, we're gonna dump an ounce and a half of our peach puree into the glass. After that, we're gonna do half an ounce of our peach liqueur. Made this just a couple months ago, so click that link. I'm not sure I have enough cards for all these links, but everything will be in the, uh, the description down below. So and then we're using homemade vanilla liqueur. So we have a video for that as well. Half ounce of vanilla liqueur. So we got our peach, we got our vanilla, and then we're gonna top it off with champagne, of course. Delicious. I mean, a peach Bellini is great. This one here is just gonna have that little hint of vanilla flavor. Um, should be good. A little more champagne, give this one a little mix. There it is. Pretty sure you know where we're going with the garnish. Slice of peach. It is hard to find peaches this time of year, but I found one, so that's how we're garnishing. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? All right, guys, so this is officially the last video of the year for Rob's Home Bar for the channel. So let's taste our four champagne cocktails. The first one here is the Jane's Man Jane Mansfield, um, basically a strawberry mimosa, sort of. So, my God, this is gonna get in the way. Let's give it a try. I mean, it's... It's a strawberry daiquiri with champagne. It's pretty fantastic. Mm. I love champagne cocktails, so this works. I am really excited for this one. This is the um, Pina Colada Mimosa. So once again, these fruit garnishes just get in the friggin' way. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, if you like Pina Coladas, if you like the pineapple coconut combination, and you like champagne, this is just killer. Mm. Wow. The champagne margarita. Once again, such a small rim on these, you can't do with the garnish. Um, so basically just a margarita, classic margarita with some champagne. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna find one bad one today. God, it's so good. If you love margaritas, it's just fizzy. Mm. The vanilla peach uh, Bellini, or the peach vanilla Bellini, vanilla peach Bellini. Um, so once again, garnish in. So it's probably the least alcoholic, and basically all we've done is two of our homemade liqueurs uh, with some peach puree and, of course, champagne. Now, the one thing I would do here is actually shake the two liqueurs, um, maybe even the puree, because uh, it's very good. But because we built in the glass, even though that puree was ice cold, uh, it was basically a slush. It's this is still the the uh, the least chilled one of the four because we built it right in the glass. So it would definitely do better if it was. Um, if um, I had shaken the ingredients, could use a little more chill. Still very delicious though. Ooh. This is going to be a hard one to rate. But I think I'm gonna put the pina colada in first, the margarita in second, the Jane Mansfield in third, and the Bellini in fourth. All right guys, so uh, I've said it before, but this is the final video on the channel for this year. Thanks to everyone's support. Um, just recently hit 5,000 next year. We're looking to get to 10,000 and beyond. Thanks for all the support and uh, make sure you have an awesome holiday season. Happy New Year and cheers to 2023.